Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor. If you are new here, welcome. I'm happy to have you. If we could run it, if we could run it back into your water. So it is officially summer. This is the best season to me. I am my best self in the summer. I love, love, love everything about the season. It's also July, which is my favorite month of the entire year because it's my birthday month. So I figured I would walk you guys through kind of my everyday skincare, morning skincare and makeup look that I do just to kind of get a light natural look for the day, but without doing anything too, too crazy because I don't like to wear makeup in the summer. I like to stick to mostly skincare products. So I figured that I would show you guys today how I got this look using mostly skincare products with a few makeup products thrown in. It is summer, so we don't want anything too heavy. We want light. We are clean skincare girlies. So I figured that I would show you guys how I got this. I will have everything linked below for you guys as I walk you through it. And you can find most of it in my Amazon storefront under wellness and skincare favorites. So yeah, let's get into it. I am so beyond obsessed with this right now. It's my current hyperfixation. I can't stop getting it, which is such an issue because these are freaking expensive. I have to learn how to make it from home, but this is a matcha latte with soy milk and then one pump of sugar-free vanilla. It's so freaking good, you guys. I'm obsessed. Kick things off. The first thing that I did that I had to do, obviously off camera, was cleansing my face. For that, I do the Kale Green Tea Spinach Superfood Cleanser from Youth to the People. I'm absolutely obsessed with this stuff. I started using it in like January and I never went back. I love, love, love this stuff. It, it cleanses my face, but it doesn't like strip my face and it feels really soft still afterward. It doesn't feel like that like harsh, like wash just happened. So I am absolutely obsessed with this. I almost need a new one. Then I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Skin Pudding just because I have to always have something on my lips. So I love the twist of this, it's so much fun. I feel so much better already. Obviously I normally do my skincare in my bathroom, but I like the lighting out here better. So for the sake of this video, I have everything in my merit bag, which is so cute and chic, I love this bag. I'm always super interested in what people use on their skin and their skincare, so I figured that it would be fun to show you guys mine and what I'm currently loving what I'm currently using. Normally would do it next, but I'm not going to do it right now because I have my contacts in, is I would put in these Lumify drops on my eyes. They make your eyes so freaking white, you guys. It's crazy. These things make me instantly look awake. I'm absolutely obsessed. So I would normally do that next, but obviously I have my contacts in already and you're not supposed to do that with your contacts in. So I'm not gonna do that this time around. We're gonna start with my Holy Grail first, which if you've seen my travel vlog, you guys know that I love the skincare line, but this is my absolute absolute holy grail item like the one thing I cannot live without and I know that because I didn't bring it just for the sake of not having a lot in it on my camping trip this past weekend and I thoroughly regretted it and I'm still recovering a little bit from a breakout that I had this weekend so I know that my skin absolutely needs this stuff and it is the peach slices snail rescue blemish busting toner and I'm obsessed with this I think I've been using it religiously now for the past four or five months and just put it on your skin like that. I've been using it now for the past four or five months and I've noticed such a decrease in any breakouts that I've been having. I feel like, I know it's the summer too, but I feel like in the winter my skin was so, so bad. And ever since I started using this, it's gotten definitely better. Then we have a new product that I'm still kind of testing out. I've been using it for about two weeks now and I think I really, really like it so far. But True Botanical sent me this, so thank you so much. It is the Chabula Active Serum and I just put a little bit on my hand, like three drops I do, and then I rub it all over my face and it smells like honey. I don't want a strong fragrance, but I like something subtle. So I rub this on my face. And it, honestly, it gives like an immediate glow, which I like. And it smells delicious. It smells just like honey. I've been really into clean skincare lately, so I've been trying like any and all products that I can find that are clean. I put it into this website that I found. I'll put the name right here. But I put it into this website that I found and it like checks to see if your products are non-comedogenic. So I've been absolutely loving that. Which brought me to my next product, which is the Good Molecules Pure Cold Pressed Rosehip Oil. My best friend uses this. It's like her go-to swear by item. So I got it because of her. And so far, I really, really like it. I don't have any rhyme or reason for this, but for this one, I put it on 
directly on my skin. Obviously making sure that the dropper doesn't like directly touch my face. But yeah, rosehip oil is supposed to um, help with elasticity on the skin, which as you're growing older is definitely helpful. And making sure that you're bringing everything down to your neck always. But in 2023, I've been really into like learning about skincare and learning why it's good for you and trying to figure out the best types of skincare to use for my skin because I was sick of getting skincare and thinking that it was working when it really wasn't and then wondering why I was getting these breakouts. And I've learned that I have particularly sensitive skin to like bad ingredients. So I've been learning all about how like non-comedogenic skincare is different from clean beauty skincare and how clean beauty really means like it's not bad for the environment. But there can still be like ingredients in the skincare that are not the best for your skin and can still clog your pores so i have been really into like trying to find non-comedogenic skincare which means that there are no pore clogging ingredients so that's been pretty important to me this past year and i think i finally have like a good handle on it i wouldn't say that i have like oily skin or dry skin i think my skin is pretty like normal combination but i noticed that my skin absolutely loves hydration and it's been really helping with my breakouts to make sure that i have a very strong hydration barrier so i've been going in with a lot of snail mucin next we're using the peach slices snail rescue all-in-one oil-free moisturizer so i absolutely love this stuff too i feel like it worked really well with the toner from peach slices so i use this as like my first layer of moisturizer also, I would love if any of you are a dermatologist that watch this, please, please, please DM me on Instagram or reach out to me. I would love to know how my skincare routine actually is instead of just like how I think it is. So if anyone has any expertise in that field, please let me know because I think I have it nailed down pat, but I'm always looking for like improvements, suggestions, things of that sort. All on a budget though. We're trying to be skincare girlies on a budget. I'm pretty sure like 90% of the stuff that I use is under $15 because I truly, truly think that you can have good skincare and not be spending a hundred dollars on a serum i just noticed that this has a little smiley face on it so cute okay next up eye cream another good molecules product this is the yerba mate wake up eye gel i saw a girl on tiktok talk about this and i wanted to try it she says she used it for a few weeks and her dark circles under her eyes were almost completely gone all i do is i put a little bit on my ring finger and then Disperse the two and then I just rub it under my eyes until I feel like it dries most of the way. I rub some on top too. My camera just died while I was waiting for the eye cream to set in so I might be at a slightly different angle than I was before but I think that we're back in business. The last thing that I do for my skincare skincare is a heavier like moisturizer just to like lock all of this stuff in not super heavy but something that's like a little bit more thicker of a moisturizer because the peach slices that i have it's like a gel and so i want like a cream so surprisingly i haven't figured out which one i love 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 just yet for this i did use the first aid beauty ultra repair cream forever uh, i stopped using that not for like any particular reason just because i wanted to try some new stuff and recently i got this in like a little sephora package so it's the kiehl's ultra facial cream i like it but i know it's expensive so i'm not going to be purchasing like the actual full size of this but if you guys have any um like creamy face moisturizer recommendations please let me know i've been wanting to try the one from burst but i think that's also a gel so i just take a little bit of this on my hand and then i rub it in and i put it all over my face and i feel like that really locks my skincare in okay i am gonna go let this soak in for a little bit and then i'll be back and i'll show you my super super minimalist everyday kind of makeup look that i just throw on to make myself feel a little bit more put together okay i let my skincare soak in so now we're gonna move on to a little bit of makeup the perfect like transitional product i didn't forget about this you guys so don't yell at me but i go in first obviously with sunscreen i use the sun touchable woe glow by elf i love this stuff i just got a brand new bottle so it's my second bottle so i officially am a huge fan dot it all over my face and rub it in And I love that stuff. I feel like it really does give like just such a natural glow to my skin. Sometimes though, I will put some translucent powder like in my T-zone when I'm wearing it just by itself with no other makeup on top because I don't want to look too oily. That has been my go-to sunscreen recently. I'm really into makeup, you guys, that like doubles as skincare, which you'll see with a few of my other products. Um, that's been like my new thing, especially in the summertime. I don't want to be putting a ton of makeup on my face 
So if I can get a product that does both, I definitely will. Which brings me to my next product, going in with two products, which most of you should know this by now if you follow me on my other social media platforms. The Dream BB Pure by Maybelline. This is a skin clearing beauty balm, they call it. And it has 2% salicylic acid, so it's good for maintaining breakouts. And then I have the Lumi Glotion, which is really just bronzing drops because your girl is pale. So if I was up close in my normal mirror in the bathroom, I would probably dot the four corners of my face. But since I'm doing this in the middle of a little tiny camera, I am just going to put it on my hand and then I'll rub it in and all over my face. Like that much of the tinted moisturizer and then like that much of the bronzing drop. Push the hair back. I feel like that just gives me like the tiniest little bit of coverage that you can see, which if I didn't have any active breakout would be more than enough for me. I really, really, really love, love, love those two products together. It took me forever to find like a tinted moisturizer that I liked. So having found the BB Pure one, I'm so freaking happy about it. That's what my main base is for my skin. And then I have to go wash my hands because they are all dirty. Moving into the next product, I use another skincare product disguised as makeup. It's the ColorStay Skin Awaken Revlon Concealer. It has caffeine and vitamin C in it, so I love anything that's gonna wake up my under eyes. So all I do is do just a little bit under here. If I'm going more of a full glam, I have two different shades of this that I use, but for today, I'm just doing super simple, so we can keep it pretty simple. And then touching up my blemishes and then I do just a little bit under the nose taking my beauty blender <laughs> this is disgusting but I'm not getting up again and I normally like spray my, my beauty blender with setting spray I don't have any of that I'm not getting up again so I'm using the condensation my matcha <laughs> so gross okay just blending this out a little bit I use my fingers sometimes too, but honestly, I don't want to get my hands dirty again. I really, really like this concealer. I feel like it's buildable, but it's also light enough that it doesn't cake my face. But yeah, I feel like it does a good job of giving a little bit of coverage, and I also feel like it brightens my under eyes like just enough. I personally don't like when concealer is like super, super bright under your eyes. I think it gives like a fake illusion, so I like when it just brightens it a little bit. Next, we have like a semi-new favorite product that I'm excited about. It's the Merit Flush Balm and Cheeky. I actually did a little collaboration with Merit recently and I was able to try this product out and I absolutely loved it. This is the first like cream blush that I've really ever used so I've been super excited to kind of dive into it. That looks like a lot but I promise you it blends out really creamy and nice and it just looks a little bit like sunburn which is exactly what we want. A little bit on the nose. I feel like that looks so nice and natural and just like gives my face a little bit of color that it needed. Moving on, we don't have to do too much left, but I just wanted to brush up my brows real quick with some gel. I just tinted them this morning. It's honestly so quick. I should do it more often. So this is my brows with no makeup on or anything, which I love. I wish they would look like this all the time, but I just have this elf wow brow tinted gel that i just brush onto them and it helps to kind of fill in any sparse spots and then helps them stay in place all day so i just put a little bit of that on i love this stuff i've been using it for years i'm a real big elf girl you guys i think i said that in a previous video but i absolutely love all of their products so elf if you see this hit a girl up that's all I do. Sometimes if my eyebrows are not dyed, I'll like fill them in a little bit. But since I just dyed them today, I really don't need to do that. And this is what they look like after that. And then lastly, you guys, we're going to go in with mascaras. I mentioned this before in another video, so nothing's changed. But I'm normally a two mascara kind of girl. But since we're going super minimalist today, I'm just going to stick to one. This is the Roller Lash Mascara by Benefit. I absolutely love this mascara. Um, I do want to try Elf Stoop to this though, just because I think it's a little bit cheaper and I'm pretty sure it's the exact same thing so i just put a few layers of that that is definitely a difference i have long lashes they're just very light 
I wish they were darker. They're just light and they're thin. I wish that they were a little bit darker and thicker so that I didn't have to. Like, I honestly probably wouldn't wear as much mascara. I normally would spend a second on my mascara. This should do for today. And then I'll also sometimes do um, like eyeliner on top, but I think for the sake of today and just for keeping it super minimalist, I'm just gonna leave it at this. So this is the final look, you guys. Very minimal, very light, pretty easy to do. A lot of the skincare in here is also my makeup and vice versa, which I absolutely love, especially for the summertime. Oh, I forgot. And then I'm also gonna finish it off with just a little bit of this blush on my lips just to give some color. This is my easy summer makeup look. It has enough coverage that it feels like you're wearing something on your face and you feel like you have makeup on, but it's also light enough that it's not gonna clog your pores. It's not gonna feel heavy or like get matted down. It's gonna keep that kind of fresh, dewy look that we love for summer. So this is the final product. These are all my favorite products that I used. I'll have them all linked down below so that you guys can check them out too. They're all on my Amazon storefront under wellness, I think, and skincare. But let me know if you have any products that you absolutely love are like your holy grail items that you think that i should try i am always down to try new products that's one of my favorite things to do other than that please 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 like and subscribe thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one bye